Hello and welcome, it's KB here. So finally, I have the access to the Bard AI. It's a ChatGPT-like AI chatbot, but from Google. So let's see how it works. I'm gonna ask some simple, maybe some complicated questions, and let's see if it can help me. So if you also want to try this out, you can go to bard.google.com. From there, you can try out the Bard AI. You may have to go through the waiting list, but it should be quick. I got accepted within like a few hours, so it should be all good. But just in case, if it's not available in your country, you can't join it. If it says that, then you can use VPN. Just extra tip for you guys. Use a VPN. Uh, location must be set to USA and you should be all good. Now let's try this bad boy out. Write me a sick leave mail for my company. Wow, it's actually fast. It doesn't do the thing like the chat GPT does. You know, it just writes. Uh, uh, let me let me show you the example because I can't say it properly. <laughs> Write me a sick leave mail. So this is what I'm talking about. Okay, it, it just writes. Okay, it takes some time, but in Google, uh, you know, it, it just pops out the answer quickly. So now let's ask something else. What do you think about ChatGPT? I think ChatGPT is a very impressive piece of technology. It is able to generate human-like text responses to a wide variety. Okay, it thinks that ChatGPT is a cool thing. Yeah, obviously, because it's a huge thing right now. And there is always some extra tips that uh, Bardia gives you. It doesn't matter what question you ask, uh, like some tips or some more info about the question that you ask. So yeah, really cool. Okay, I'm gonna ask it to write me an article of a recently released software. So let's see if it can do that. Write me an article on SCRCPY 2.0. It should be informational. Let's see if you can do this. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that all the AIs out there can write an article for you, but it depends. Well, actually, so good. I like it. I don't even have to read this. It's a screen mirroring tool for Windows PC. You can mirror your phone to your PC. So recently in version 2.0, they added the ability to forward the audio to PC. The way it provided me the info, because I, I was like, uh, a specific on it should be informational. I really like it. Since Google is the most used search engine and Google gets the lo almost all the traffics, <laughs> uh, they know a lot uh, about the internet and everything. So it's it's actually a just just a common sense that Bard AI can be a better AI than ChatGPT. Maybe it's not yet, but in future, if everything goes well. It should be better than ChatGPT. I'm just saying, that's all. <laughs> Don't take it seriously. Maybe you're a ChatGPT fan or something. Let's try to do the same thing with a ChatGPT. And ChatGPT is actually slower than the Bard AI when it comes to the output. Yeah, it's slow. Um, because maybe I'm using the free version. If I use the premium version, maybe it will be fast, but you know, since Bard AI is all free for now, uh, yeah, let's see how it does. Actually, ChatGPT did a better job at writing a article uh, because it goes into more details. Yeah, it will stretch out the article and it will make you read more, but it's writing like human. We have different parts. What is SCRCPY? If you go and read any article, you know, the article will always make you read more and don't get to the point <laughs> so i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but i always write article just straight from the point i only talk about the points what's up that's all but yeah it is actually writing like human <laughs> actually trying to stretch things out i don't know a few things chat gpt wrote here isn't completely true like the multiple devices it's not a game changer thing <laughs> The main one is audio support, which is in third spot. <laughs> the main one should be audio support for SCRCPY 2.0. Uh, everything else is the same as the old SCRCPY versions. But 
Yeah, cool. There are some useful shortcuts that it provided actually. If you want to go to full screen, yeah, this is something many people don't know uh, in SARCBY. It's a really useful shortcut if you want to go, you know, full screen again. <laughs> yeah, pretty good actually, yeah. But I like the way uh, Google produced it. Yeah, it's straight to the point and in my opinion, just since I know SCRCPY, I use it every single day to mirror my phone to my PC. So I know almost everything about SCRCPY. So yeah, I think the Bardia is more accurate and just straight to the point, the way I like it. Yeah. <laughs> now let's ask it to do some complicated stuff. Okay. I don't know if it's going to work. Help me build a blogger template from scratch with codes yeah it gave me a just you know simple like empty blogger template html <laughs> uh, okay let's try this with chat gpt and again i'm just using a free chat gpt 3.0 all right i'm not using the plus version plus version actually allows you to use the gpt4 which is more powerful version of chat gpt than the gpt3 again it also gave me some tips and some wow well, actually it's giving me more than just tips okay 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 i think i'm gonna actually apply this give me a second okay here we have the thing here i'm just gonna copy this let's see if it actually works <laughs> It's still giving me the error. Let's let's try out the Bard AI one. I think this one is gonna work. Just just feeling it. <laughs> no, never mind. I don't think I can do this because you need a right prompts to actually be able to generate codes uh, from AI right now. If you don't have the knowledge, then you know. Even if you're using AI and you can do everything, no, you cannot. For example, I don't have knowledge on HTML, CSS, Java, all the codes that applies to make a blogger template. So it, it yeah, it's still useless. If you don't have some knowledge, it's still useless. <laughs> Not completely actually. Here I can just search, design the header for blogger and uh, i can get lots of tutorials on it and i can copy and paste the codes from those tutorials and then just design the sidebar yeah it's it's actually doable uh, yeah it's actually somewhat helpful even if it doesn't produce the codes itself all the time it does give you helpful tips these are actual things that i need to do to make a blogger template that's what i'm trying to do right now so it's actually doable, even if you don't have knowledge. I mean, a little bit of knowledge is still required, but yeah, you got the idea what I'm trying to say here. Pretty cool. Yeah, I like it. When is the Boruto episode 294 coming? This is something I have been waiting for. It's not released. Yeah, I know. And there is no official release date yet. But the first part of the Boruto anime ended on March 26. 2023 and it was announced that the second part is already in production however there has been no word on when the second part will be released some rumors suggest that it could be released in october no bro october is way far ahead don't tell me i'm gonna have to wait so much you know if you watch boruto you know what happened in last episode yeah uh, there is a time skip happening. We saw like few frames of the uh, time skip where Boruto and the Kawaki were fighting. Yeah, they got us all excited. And then there is no new episode. <laughs> I check every Sunday. I check on internet if there is a new episode of Boruto. Yeah, useful, accurate because I have been reading lots of news on Boruto episode 294 and yeah this is accurate 100% accurate I like it I'm just gonna give it a thumbs up because <laughs> waiting for Boruto 
hope this isn't true since we don't know the official release date hope this isn't hope this isn't the october please no 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 just be this week or next week or maybe next month can't wait to see the next episode of Boruto. okay i think i'm going out of context but yeah that, that, that's it in my opinion Bardi AI is almost as good as the uh, chat gpt it's still in experiment which means sometimes it will give you the wrong answers in some questions not all all right they also mention it on their website too and same thing goes for the chat gpt it also says that sometime it can produce the wrong answers so yeah i like bard ai actually i might use bard ai more than chat gpt because in my testing i found that the chat gpt and bard ai are almost like equal i know my testing are not the best in the world but that's what i think i like it that's all i have to say yeah it's it's good yeah that's it yeah if you have any questions or have any suggestions you can always do the comment and uh, yeah that's it i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye